Well, boys, the big day is about to come in just a few short amount of days. Roblox Funky Friday is about to hit its one year anniversary on the platform, essentially being created on February 28th, going public two days after it was uploaded to the website. Huh? One year anniversary for Funky Friday, huh? Does this mean we're going to be getting a huge update filled with new animations, new mods, and new game mechanics? That is actually a big possibility and we are going to theorize and also possibly check out some leaks for the new update as well so make sure you smash that like and subscribe let's try to get 3,000 likes on this video we haven't really been hitting our like goal lately so don't fail me now and let's get right into it so of course there's been quite a bit of people over on Twitter that have been excited about this one year anniversary for funky Friday and usually in past holidays such as the Christmas updates and Halloween funky Friday Friday has always redecorated and sometimes have added in new features to the map as well in order to help celebrate the event. Well, the one year anniversary could be no different as well. I wouldn't be surprised if the developers ended up adding in fireworks in the middle of the map or even decorated it as well in order to help celebrate the occasion. Any Roblox game's first year on the platform is always a big deal and it generally leads to excitement and hype at the same time. Not only that, but we could possibly see other changes to the map such as the Miko Bulgar restaurant getting a remodel or maybe even getting expanded or also the Toho Cafe getting a new feature within the building too. This could also lead to an expansion of the map itself as a possibility, especially with the recent expansion of player limits on the server going from 14 to 18 players, Funky Friday could look to removing some barricades and adding in a couple more stages for more players to play. But it's not just limited to that idea. I'm sure you all know about the menus within these establishments. They actually have prices on these items that are worth points, interestingly enough. So this does bring up a possible update theory. Are they going to make those menu items usable, maybe possibly in gameplay situations for Funky Friday in the future? I mean, you could probably use these items just like how you could in Mario Kart using those random item boxes. Hmm. Just think about it. Imagine buying the bomb burger from Miko Bulgar for four points and you're able to send a bomb to your opponent in which if they hit it, you will be stunned for 5 seconds within the song. Or if you ended up buying the arrow cookies for 15 points, they are freshly baked and you would be able to send in extra notes for your opponent or maybe even fake cookie notes that aren't actually part of the charting. Now of course they would have to find ways to limit the power ups and make it not overpowering over the gameplay itself. So maybe having a maximum of 3 items per match with a cooldown timer would help out with that. I think these are some fun ideas that if implemented into Funky Friday is going to raise the mystery and also surprise factor within the game mode. And we have seen this in other games such as Roblox Bed Wars for example, even in Mario Kart 2, everybody likes that little hint of surprise during the gameplay, it definitely spices things up and it has been a proven tactic for games as well well. Don't forget, we've also recently seen the additions of 2v2 and 4v4 in the previous two Funky Friday updates. These two features have been well received within the community and it could lead to even more features being added in soon too. I think you guys remember that 8 game modes that should come to Funky Friday video a while back. We did talk about boss modes for a quite a while on it. Well, they've already done the hardest parts in Funky Friday. They've already added in 2v2 4v4s multi game modes and they also added in the bot mode too why not pair it both together funky friday could literally make this boss game mode a reality quite easily with their existing multiplayer systems how about adding a queuing block right in the middle of the map and you can have up to eight people stand all working together fighting on a crosswalk against a giant boss that would essentially be a bot that they've already added in the game. The difficulty could be randomized between 90 to 98 on the bot difficulty scale and if the player successfully beat the boss, 
they would be awarded not 50 points, but perhaps 100 or 150 points for their time. I think that would be pretty reasonable. They can make it even more exclusive by adding in a chance at getting a new animation just from the game mode, which would encourage players to play it more. Heck, if they decide to put in the work, we can also see the knockout or elimination game mode come into the game with that same multiplayer setup as well. The lowest score in the group will get booted out as players will have to continue playing songs. The last player is the winner with a big point jackpot as well. Again, this is not confirmed for the one year anniversary update, but we could probably see something like this happen in the future or maybe soon after the one year anniversary when Funky Friday is moving into new avenues. I could see this happen pretty high, especially because they already have these systems currently in the game. They just have to combine the two systems together somehow and then they will be able to do such a big game changing feature. Of course, we also do do have the 105 key leak that was posted a while ago in the Funky Friday Discord as presumably a joke, but how about we make that a reality as well? There is a Shaggy 105 keys mod that was created many months ago, but with a catch. Instead of having one person with 105 keys battle Shaggy, it was actually a 5v1 in which each player would be responsible for 21 keys working together as a team. This kind of goes in hand with the boss game mode, but it involves with the 105 keys. Not much of a joke now if it was implemented, huh? All of these mechanics and features could be possibilities for the Funky Friday one year anniversary or and even going forward beyond that as well. And these updates would definitely be able to bump Funky Friday, especially in the right direction when they're trying to focus more on game experience and game modes rather than just adding in more mods and more animations for which they've been doing for the past year. I mean, we've seen the game progress throughout the months from just having witty and some Toho songs to now boasting well over 70 plus mods and over 200 animations as well. Funky Friday still has a lot of great memories ahead of its path and with the developers and their teams still working really hard, that's no joke at all. We'll have to wait and see what the developers have planned for the game going forward, but that's not to say this as well. It's amazing to see the game level up, and I can't wait to see the future of it as well. But what do you guys think will happen on the one year Funky Friday anniversary update? What mods and features would you want to see come into the game on the update? Let us know in the comments down below. Make sure you smash the like and subscribe. Let's get 3,000 likes on the video. I don't think that's too much to ask for. Use star code attack with buying Robux or premium to help support the channel. And we'll see you guys on the next one.